Okay, foxes. Um, this week we are going to be studying the desert. Um, and I have a book here that I want to share with you. It's called Creatures of the Desert World. Um, and it's put together by the National Geographic Society. It's a pop-up book, so I'm going to do my best to make sure you get to see all the pieces. In the early morning sun, two mountain lion cubs are playing with a spiny lizard. Soon they will find their mother and go to their den to sleep in the hottest part of the day. They live in Arizona's Sonora Desert. The desert has little water and is often very hot. Some of the plants have spines and sharp, needle, sharp as needles, and the saguaro cactus is like an apartment building. Many creatures have homes there. In the morning, the kestrel flies from its nest, and an elf owl comes home to sleep. Can you find another owl? And this is kind of an old book, so there's, so it kind of, you can see the, the owl and the falcon, and there's the bush, and there's another little owl down here. In the desert, many animals hunt in the morning when it's cool. A roadrunner goes after a rattlesnake. There's the roadrunner and the rattlesnake. Um, and the snake rattles its tail, ready to strike, but the bird can dodge the snake's poisonous fangs. When the snake gets tired, the bird may kill it for food. Nearby, the badger digs, a home in, its, digs in the home of a ground squirrel. Um, the underground home or burrow has another opening, but even if the squirrel escapes the claws of the bat of the badger, it may become breakfast for a watchful coyote. It is late spring in the desert, and flowers are blooming, and at noontime it is hot, and many of the animals still stay still in the shade. This way they do not need as much water. A mule deer curls up near the cactus. Oh, there she is over here. There's the mule deer. mule deer um, and a kit fox lies in the shade by her den uh, picaries which are like pigs bury themselves in the sand can you find any other animals not all animals are resting the quail um, the quail run through the bushes and a red racer slithers across the hot sand to the shelter of a rock the snake would die if it stayed too long in the, in the sun. Two hawks of per, ha, perch above in their ne nests in the cactus. Oops, there's my kid's shoes. And here are the coil. Let's see, there's the fox. Let's see, there you can see the kit foxes play in their den all during the day. So they're inside there playing to keep out of the hot sun. In the afternoon heat, only a few animals are moving about. The, a pack rat runs home with a toy that it's found, and a tortoise reaches for cactus fruit and startles a jackrabbit. A black-throated sparrow hunts for seeds. Some animals escape the sun by staying underground. A scorpion will wait until night to eat its in wait to hunt insects to eat. With its cheek pouches full of seeds, a pocket mice curls up in her burrow, and a centipede found a cool, damp spot. Let's see if we can find some of these animals. There's the the little mousey. I have to. Let's see what we find in here. There's the pocket mouse, sleeps safely in its underground home. And there's the tortoise eating the fruit. And there's the centipede. You might find a centipede under a rock. And here's the jackrabbit peeking out. Peek. 
As the sun sets, the desert cools off quickly. Night animals, such as the tarantula, begin to move around. A tarantula is a spider the size of a mouse. It crawls over rocks to catch a beetle. The Hia monster turns its head to watch. It uses its sense of smell to find eggs, birds, and small animals to eat. When food is scarce, the lizard lives on fat stored in its big tail. A skunk does a handstand to warn a bobcat. And the bobcat, and if the bobcat doesn't leave, the skunk will spray a bad smell. Phew! A wren sings from the top of the cactus. You can see her there. And its nest is safe among the sharp cactus spines. Let's see if we can find her nest. There she is. And we'll see if I can make the, there's the skunk putting up its tail. And the bobcat is warned. And here is the... The tarantula. All of these are not working quite as well as they should. And the gear monster is flapping its head. A full moon lights up the desert night. Now that it's cooler, a lot of animals are out hunting. Many of them depend on their sharp senses of hearing to s and smell to catch food. Bats use echolocation to find their way. Long-nosed bats sip nectar from cactus flowers. Kit foxes play as r a ringtail watches from a big rock. A screech owl brings a moth home for her hungry baby nesting in the hole in the cactus. And when morning comes, the night hunters will return to their homes and the daytime hunters will begin to search for food. So there's the bat, we'll see, the bat. And here are some more bats. You can see them. And see, there's the baby owl getting the moth to eat. And here are the fox.